Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when controller is not working with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to go to the Steam Maker, right click on the game, go to properties and then go to the controller tab and enable Steam input. Now this has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So you can try to enable Steam input and then you can launch the game once again and then check if that does not work. You can even try to disable Steam input and then check which one is working fine for you. Now the next step is to disconnect extra controller connected to the computer. So if you have any, sometimes we have extra controllers. So if you have any kind of USB dongle connected to the computer or any extra controller connected, disconnect it and then launch the game. This has worked for many players. This we have already done. Now the next step is to launch Steam in big picture mode. So at the top right here, you can see the big picture mode icon. At the top right, which says enter big picture mode. So click on this enter big picture mode icon. Now once Steam is in big picture mode, now you can click on the game and you can launch the game from here and then check. Still not working. The next step is to close the game and then update controller using PlayStation or Xbox accessories app. So if you're using Xbox controller or PlayStation controller for Xbox controller user, go to Microsoft store and in the, in the search box, you can type in Xbox accessories app and then you can connect your uh, then install it and then open Xbox Accessories app. Now once it is open, now connect your controller using the USB cable which came with the, uh, with the controller. So connect your controller using the cable and then click on these three dots and then if there is any update, you will see update option over here and you can continue. Let the update complete and once the update is complete, now you can launch the game and then check. Similarly, if you have PlayStation Accessories app, like, sorry, if you have PlayStation controller, in that case, you have to install this PlayStation, uh, PlayStation accessories. Eh? So in Google search, you can search for PlayStation accessories app and then go to PlayStation website and do download PlayStation accessories app. Once the download is complete, you have to install it. After the installation, you can launch PlayStation accessories app and then connect your PlayStation controller. Once PlayStation controller is connected, if there is any update option over here, in my case, it's already up to date. Now, once done, now you have to relaunch the game and then check. Next step is to PlayStation controller user. You can use this DS4 Windows, so you can just search for this application and you can install it, configure your controller and then you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to unplug all the external devices. So if you have OTAs, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnected, extra controller disconnected, disconnect arcade stick, disconnect multiple monitor, try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any kind of virtual controller like VZOI, etc., you can uninstall it and then restart your computer and then launch the game once again. If nothing is working, use the wired connection so you can connect your controller using the USB cable. And once the controller is connected via cable, now you can launch the game and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the controller working with the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.